What's up guys, Lord Beardo coming at you with a brand new Clash of Clans video and we are going to jump into our Young Beard account. You guys might be missing me a little bit, it's been a couple days, we'll have to get into that. Uh, a little bit later on in the video, but let's go ahead and jump into this shaky video The recording came out a little botched on this one But today guys we are going to jump into the difference between the jump spell how that, that worked out kind of well and the quake spell as a town hall 9 you guys should just sit back in your chairs and smile. If at any given point you think to yourself, man, being a Town Hall 9 sucks in Clash of Clans, and I wish I was a 10 or I wish I was 11, I want you to sit back in your chairs and I want you to recognize how incredible it is to be a Town Hall 9 in the year of 2017. You guys have so many toys, so many spells, Troops all over the place and so much to be thankful and happy about in this game when I played we had nothing Nothing like this The Valkyries didn't work the loons didn't work the goblins were garbage The hogs were nerfed and taken away from us We literally had nothing to do in Town Hall 10 But and I'm rambling on a little bit in this first raid and it's mainly because we're not going to use any of our spells But we are going to go ahead and snatch up all of the collectors and everything that's taken place on this base He doesn't have his expos. He doesn't have anything, but let's get into the thick of things Let's talk about it. Let's go ahead and geek out a little bit on the difference between the jump spell and the quake spells first off let me break it down for you obviously you probably know but if you have people who are new at this game or struggle greatly with basic concepts of funneling and whatnot <clears throat> go ahead recommend this video over to them share it for them and we're gonna break down the jump spell and the quake spell now the jump spell both do the same exact job but they do it for a different value and that's the big thing is you only get to hold a certain amount of spells when you go into each raid so it's going to be all about value when it comes to clash of clans value play when they talk about kill squads when they talk about you know using your queen for value or troops for value if you're watching a lot of other youtube channels but you're not getting down with the lingo so the word value is all about using a spell that takes up one or two spots and getting so much more out of it now with the jump spell in general the jump spell is gonna do exactly what it says jump your troops from the outside ring into the inside or from a middle ring into the center of the base to get to the town hall now the thing with the quake spells and the jump spells they do the same thing they open up a big space they allow for troops to move the jump spell is cheaper to use because the quake spells you need four of them to take down the walls or with the jump spells you're just using one and you're able to then use poison spells now we're going to get into these examples here and to the reasons why and what is ultimately better so i will give my final opinion at the end of the video about which one i think is better and better suited mainly for each player more or less because if you can hold um, the same if you can do the same thing through a raid with better value then you're going to have uh, Obviously, that's just more better in general, but and we'll get into the reasons why but here we go We're gonna jump ahead and go ahead and show off our jump spell here We changed the spells up. We changed the composition now. Here's my thing. This is the composition to use I use it basically throughout everything um, Clash of Clans is all about going in and getting the town hall and getting big raids now So you have to use giants you have to use wizards and I always use a couple hogs now people will think oh that's a waste of time why use three hogs that doesn't matter what's that gonna do my three hogs have saved my butt in more raids than anything else this game is all about value it's about what you're doing I got 15 extra spots that I'm using these hogs for and they absolutely crush it now when you're going in for a jump style base you almost want to find bases that allow you to jump into the middle easier a lot of times there are bases that are real honeycombed together lots of different wall structures I always wish I had the quakes or I'm using the quakes but in this scenario in this scenario what we are doing with our spell here is we're going to try and jump all the way from the outside 
into the middle of the base. So we're going to go ahead and use a couple of giants, and we always go in to get the Dark Elixir drill. In the beginning of the raid, you're basically trying to find out if there is anything in the clan castle, and you're going to try to find where all the Dark Elixir is. At least that's what I do, because Dark Elixir is the most important thing in this game. So I found both the Dark Elixir pumps, and then I found where the Dark Elixir storage is. There's a lot of different loot stuck on the outsides. You see right here, this guy's got some hidden Teslas all ready for us, all prepared. The heroes are on the outside, but we'll go ahead and just snatch up these little two collectors here, and then we're going to leave the heroes as we go inside and make our way for the loot. And that's kind of what I want to get into, man. We do a lot of war recaps. We do a lot of war raiding. We do a lot of different things involving war, but I wanted to get back to doing some loot videos for you guys just because that's what progresses a base, man. Here comes that jump. Now, that jump is going to reach all the way into that second layer. Now, I am a baby Town Hall 9. My, none of my heroes are in double digits. I only got my giants done and I think my raid spell done. So, we're going to go ahead and heal up those giants. Keep your giants healed up. When you want them to tank for you well. We're going to send some more goblins in. We're going to send some more wizards in. And I kind of forgot that in Town Hall 9. You can send your army in in different bulks. You see I still have my 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 uh, hogs. I still have my wizards. I still have troops. And I have a bunch of spells left over. And that's kind of the way it works in Town Hall 9. Is you, you fight bases in waves. In Town Hall 11 and 10. Like a lot of times you just want to get all your troops. Unload the clip. You got to get it all out. You got to get them on the board together so you can focus on your spells. But in the Town Hall 9 spot, especially when you're fighting against, you know, basically a Town Hall 8 here, you get a little bit more time, man. And it's fun. It's fun to play this way. Now, here's the drawback. Okay, did you see the way the Giants had to wrap all the way around? If I use Quakes in the middle, the Quakes would have completely opened up the center of the base and my giants would have just walked right to the middle. They wouldn't have been going around. And that's one of the drawbacks with the jump spell. Now, we go ahead, pick up a quick 800,000. <clears> the dark could have been a little bit larger, but none the less we absolutely crushed that loot raid and that's really what we were looking for. <clears throat> Big loot, that's what we're trying to get here. Now, Let's get into using the Quake Spells, and the Quake Spells are going to give you the ability to access any part of the base that you Quake out of the middle as long as your troops go through the hole. So there's the benefit and the draw. See, the Jump Spell actually draws your troops in a little bit. I wouldn't say it's like totally effective, but it definitely draws your troops in, and it has its place. Both of these spells have their place. Actually, basically everything in this game has its place for some reason reason or another i can't think of any troop other than the witch who's pretty much like obsolete right now and i even have teammates who use the witch even in war every war against town hall nines and town hall 11 so every troop is basically usable and spell maybe the maybe the skeleton spell that one's pretty beat but check it out so we're going to open up this spot right here and this base would have been able to get hit with a with a jump spell actually probably easier with the jump spell because because then you're able to hold on to your poisons and that's one of the big benefits of using the jump so let's stack up some positives for the quake spell we'll talk about the positives for each of them so far so the quake spell is going to allow you to constantly be able to get into the middle now if you notice right here i split my army up into two separate entry points a lot of problems that i see from people when i watch people use and look at all those giants that got fried up by one wizard tower make sure you put your heal spells down really quickly on your giants when they get to wizard towers uh, doesn't matter, I got my target objective here, and that's to steal as much loot as possible and get that dark elixir, but make sure you use your heals with your giants nice and early as a preventative way of not letting the raid go south quickly. It's only one spell drop. Just heal them up when they first get in the middle, but to get to the benefits, the quake... You have to split your army type up into one or to two entry points, sometimes even three entry points. If you do a quake and then you do a small entry point into a base, you will have a 
bigger opportunity for your troops to just kind of walk around the either the outside of the base or the inside of the circle like this is just one big ring base so if i wouldn't have gotten my troops into that middle spot they would have just continued to circle around the entire inside and i bet that happens to this guy a lot look at all the trophies that he's offering this is probably a base that he comes up very well with but instead what we were able to do is quake out the inside and then make two entry points on the top and the left and that allowed our army not to split up i mean not to go around the outside they split up very well went right into the middle super big hit beardos really pumped about the way that one worked out for us and like i said the benefits of the quake is to simply leave a hole that is going to never leave it's not gonna leave guys it's gonna stay there it's going to leave your troops with an entry point even if they have to come back to it so we're gonna jump on against clan right here and again another mainly collector raid but he is going to have some dark juice that we're gonna have to get inside to get to so we got a left hand top corner drill we have a southern drill and we also have the collector the storage in the middle 2400 dark is nice to get and you're also going to want to take out the town hall because i believe that holds around 300 of its own so let's go ahead and clear the way here let's go ahead and get a couple giants down get a couple key collectors taken care of a giant here a wizard there some archers some barbarians use a couple of goblins definitely leave areas like this that have a couple collectors because you're going to want to bring in a bigger army set together so now we're using little kill squads to come in there steal the collectors steal the dark drill getting all that dark juice all that lovely lovely dark juice now let me know if you guys are using some different compositions i know a lot of people have been doing the loon raids um even i don't know i don't think they're probably doing them at the town hall that the spot in town hall nine that i'm in they're probably more of a war army or high high end league push you know if they're tro they're they're trophy pushing or if they're farming with the loons at that point it's probably because they have a bunch of um troop, different troop strains and their heroes are a lot higher so if you're low if you're a sub 10 hero town hall nine if you just got into town hall nine or you rushed from eight to nine go ahead and try this composition out and don't just try it out once or twice let me know what you think different let me know if you think you like the jump spell or the quake spell better you'll see we cleared everything away we got our jump in the middle there are those three hogs that i told you work so well jumping off to the right hand side they got beat up by the king we didn't heal them usually we go ahead and heal them and the only reason that we're using three hogs is to make the maximum amount of dark elixir possible i i like to use five hogs five hogs with a heal spell is so dominant but i can get away with three just for the objective factor just the objectives that i'm trying to get here now now right here watch all these giants get toasted up by that wizard tower if only I had one more heal I would have been able to save more of them a couple of them end up living but check out our little wizard up top he's gonna go ahead and get that last expo take down this last last elixir collector <clears throat> and was able to lock up all the dark elixir in this raid over 204,000 dark elixir my goodness we did ourselves a number on this one great loot great dark elixir and this is what we're looking to do i'm trying to progress this account i'm trying to get my heroes over 10 and i want to get locked into a really really nice war army i want an air raid and a ground raid for all you town hall nines out there who are struggling to get three stars in war i'm going to help you fix that problem there should be nobody as a town hall nine who's not three star you're either hitting a little too high or you're not using the right army composition because any base that is set up to fight with air should be a walkthrough and anybody who's very heavily defending against the air should be able to walk through it with a different army type so that's what we're going to break down in the long run you know i got a, some feedback that a lot of you guys are town hall nines so I don't want to just rip through Town Hall 11 content. It might be fun and cool to watch me push, you know, into top Legends League or kind of play the game the way that I've been playing after three years. But you're not going to learn from it, man. There's so many channels out there to learn from. 
We've been kind of just, you know, mainly entertainment, just having some fun, kind of testing the water, seeing what, you know, YouTube could open up for the Beardos and the community of Beardos. I want to just bring in a little bit more uh, communication and activity on the channel. That'd be really cool to just see what your guys' feedback is on if you like the quakes, if you like the jumps, if you're using t something completely different and what have you. But check this out. Again, another collector raid. This is all about one to two day time period that I did all the filming for this. We got the quake spells and a lot of times with the quake spells what I'll do is I'll even open the base up to the outside. So I knew that the way the inside of this base was that all my troops are going to funnel off into the middle and then go off to the top right hand side. We're not even going to really have to fight the left hand side of the base so we just want to funnel those buildings away that's a funnel right there using a couple troops to just create a path for all of your troops to go up through just taking away certain buildings so that the bowlers don't get distracted now there is a huge fighting difference between the jump spell army and the quake spell army you can use the same composition but I've simplified it using the quake spell with the bowlers is the best way of fighting so the bowlers don't get stuck they walk around freely they get raged they help take out the town hall they help take out all sorts of troops here comes the hogs to kind of help out here this just went so well this raid worked out really perfect for me heal spell already down for the key for the for the giants as they got involved the rage is now going to help clear at the inside we're still holding a, a key heal spell that we're going to have to use we're going to use on this left hand side on these bowlers and that's able to take out very strong pieces of defense in both of those teslas but they get distracted and the heal spell probably would have been best suited with the mass group on the right hand side but we did take out a little bit of space some good space that we needed to clear out there and we almost got that tesla all the way down so now the right hand side we saved a lot of those archers from the outside and what that's going to do is it's going to keep the queen and keep the bowlers attention on the inside as those buildings come down really fast so instead of them moving to the outside wall and taking out buildings on the outside it's actually forcing the hero forcing the bowler forcing all the troops to pay attention to the defenses by having such a good what we call sweep squad so we got a sweep squad on the outside we got a kill squad on the inside they're running out of defenses we are running out of time but we have about 150,000 elixir left to get before we're satisfied but look at at this point we're starting to dream big here we're starting to think hey I think this is going to be a three-star raid, and that's my thoughts about halfway through. I think to myself, does this look like a three-star or does it not? Don't get mad, people, when you're not getting three stars only in war, but we're not focused on war. We're focused on learning the difference between the quake and the jumps. So quake spell, use bowlers in the clan castle. Jump spell, use the giants. The jump spells tend to be a slower raid. It tends to be a lot more um, outside collector raids you know various things like that so that's just kind of the breakdown right there man you got the jump spell you're gonna have to play it nice and slow and you have the quake spell and that's gonna be more of a punchy army you're gonna want to quake out a specific part of the base and punch into the base very strong so let's go back to the jump spell because I feel like everybody is immediately just gonna jump on the quake spell and be like that's the one what Beardo thinks is the best the quake spell is better because you don't have to pay attention to anything on the inside this is a tough base design one that's used by one of our clan mates and also just a very solid base design now if you notice right here I have been using the poison spell against the clan castle when you use the quake spell the quakes you do not have the privilege of using the poison the poison doesn't just kill the troops but it actually limits the attacking power of the heroes and the attacking power of the troops so if it's a dragon if it's a baby dragon if it's a queen if it's a valkyrie it diminishes the the, the strength of their attack and the speed as to watch the troop moves very 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 important 
spell. A lot of times when I watch a raid that goes wrong for a Town Hall 9 or a Town Hall 10, I always look at the little things like where was their poison spell placed? What did they how would they how are they able to fight the clan castle? See, sometimes people they'll be like, oh my goodness, where'd my whole army go? What happened? Why why were all my giants dead? But they didn't realize that they weren't paying attention to the giants in the beginning and one wizard tower completely killed them. The jump spell gets us into the middle. We're gonna go ahead and take out the entire inside. And here we go. We got we got Bowler stuck in that little chamber. Our jump spell is not progressed to the level two. Now, if you're in the position that I'm in right now and you're a high Town Hall 9, this is the perfect spot. You would easily take the rest of the loot and break off the rest of the pieces of defense, but I'm just a baby 9. So let's get into my final thoughts for the video. I really think that as a beginning Town Hall 9 that it's better to use the Quakes. It gives you more of an ability to exercise using the bowlers and paying attention to the funneling. If you're bad at funneling, you have to use the Quakes too. If you're good at funneling and you want a good ground and pound army during war, continue to practice your jump spells. I can use both of them. I gotta say, I enjoy using the Quakes because they're easier and I can use the bowlers. But when I have more of a massive attack, using the jump spells it feels better because it's more surgical i would just say stick with the quakes when you're young in town hall nine and then progress to the jumps as you get a little bit better but beardos hope you enjoyed the video sorry we haven't been around as much we've had a bit of a schedule change with the changing of the season so we're going to change the way that our live streaming works but we're going to get back to our videos we're going to get you guys hooked up with some new info so check out either of these two videos if you're bored and have a great day beardos